no, 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 never. I, I, I don't think acting was ever in my scheme of things. I, I was uh, brought up in uh, Calcutta, partially, and uh, Delhi. In Delhi, we used to do a lot of street theatre in my uh, masters in communication, and I, invariably because I used to sing, I used to have this dholak uh, right uh, on my, you know, shoulders, and we used to play around the dholak. And at that time, we used to, you know, how it is in college, uh, uh, you know, culturals. You, uh, one person needs to do a lot of roles so that you, when you go out station you can double up as someone who can play the Congo and someone who can act and someone who can speak and someone who can sing. So I invariably saw myself in all that and uh, my dad used to encourage me but he wouldn't hear of me modeling or something. He said all that after marriage. He was very, very strict and this thing and I never went and I never got any offers or something. So it was something that uh, just happened and out of the blue after marriage, I got my first offer and uh, because I already have a performing artist in the family uh, who's already made it big, they, their mindset was completely different. They said, uh, yeah, why not? I mean, if there's someone's talent is being recognized and you think you can do it. See, again, uh, the entire thing, the focus came back to me saying that you have to be confident. We don't have a problem you going, but don't go there and, you know, come back saying, oh, I should have never done it. But of course, they were uh, willing to go with me for the one first two cases where, you know, suppose I had come back and said, uh, I made this horrible mistake. I don't want to ever do it again. They would have supported me. I don't think they would have ever said, no, 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 you have to go back and, you know, money and all has never been a part of our discussion as to whether, you know, I'm going to make money with this uh, hobby of mine. Never. It was always, you like it, you do it. Oh, I, I, they feel uh, extremely funny when I get uh, noticed, uh, you know, especially when we go abroad and all. I mean, my husband says, how can they even recognize you? You just come in a couple of scenes and sometimes, you know, I'm without the bindi, I'm wearing maybe western clothes. He says, how, how, how are they able to? So that is when you know the strength and the impact of cinema on people. There are so many people who are constantly watching movies. I mean, the entire industry thrives because of that. And uh, they find it very uh, funny and they find it, they always joke about it and uh, my daughter uh, in fact i think i'll share with you a letter that she had written to me uh, maybe when she was uh, as young as eight or ten years old i i think i uh, made time to attend one of the uh, parent teacher meeting in her school and uh, they had to write a, a letter to the parent well, that was the end you know we had a interaction with the kids and you know adolescent behavior and how do you tackle they had involved the children also in the end she wrote uh, something very beautiful she said uh, uh, um, she had fought with me earlier so she was giving me the explanation of why she fought and all that in the end there was a line saying that uh, uh, i'm i'm extremely happy that uh, you, my mother, has never been affected by stardom and that you actually came as a mother of Dhwani and you came and attended this. Till then, I didn't even know that there was, you know, something like stardom which was being associated because we don't know what children speak in school. They must have said, oh, your mother is an actress, she's acted with so many heroes and heroines and we don't know what went through this little girl's mind. That's when I understood the importance of, you know, being just the simple mother that you need to be and never allow any of these frills because after all they are all in transient phase somebody is famous today somebody isn't tomorrow everybody is making hay while the sun shines so after that you know i mean it's all left to you as to how you deal with it absolutely you know the, uh, the because of the roles that i do they feel that they've seen me somewhere but they can't put, you know, so they will start, aren't you so-and-so's parent or aren't you a parent of this school? And I'll say, very sweetly, I'll also say, no, I'm not from here. I actually stay in somewhere else. I'm a parent of that school. Oh, okay, okay. Then you must be living in this locality. I'll say, no, I don't live in that locality. Oh, okay, okay. I'm so sorry. I think I've mistaken you for somebody. And you keep quiet and you continue. Mostly this happens in restaurant because in restaurant you spend more time. And then suddenly when I've paid my bills and I'm ready to leave, 
I think it would have just dawned because it's eating them as to where they've seen. So this entire thing, you know, uh, sometimes it's so funny, you know, I have half a mind to go across to them, you know, and my daughter will say, why don't you just go and say, yeah, you are that mom who came in Gilly. Why don't you just go and say, I say, no. And then I invariably I'll go to them because it's not nice, you know, I'll say, no, 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 I do movies, you know, that's a part of my hobby and they say, oh, yeah, weren't you the mother who acted in this, weren't you the mother? It's so funny and then they, they keep saying, oh, I'm so sorry and I thought you were, but it's, it's, a, it's a nice social event if you can call it and I love making friends and seeing new faces, so be it. Yeah, I'm the regional head of a company called Real Image Media Technologies and uh, we are uh, in the space of media and entertainment and uh, we keep giving products, uh, you know, we keep uh, representing a lot of products uh, to help this industry, uh, you know, make their movies better, make their movies smarter. You, we represent uh, companies like uh, Avid and Pro Tools in India. So what happens is we, we represent our own product called Cube. We're right now getting into the space of uh, converting theatres and helping them to go digital with our uh, high-end server called the Cube. So I have a, a large team. Uh, I head the regional business in the south and in the east. And I have a large team working with me. And it's uh, because of my nature, it's fun at work also. So it's if I'm coming on tour, there will be lots of fun. We, we will definitely do our work. Focus is always a hundred percent. Do your work. After that, Maj Masti is anyway a part of it. You can't be serious and do work in media and entertainment. You can't. Of course, there are serious issues which have to be dealt with seriously. But uh, yes, when, when there is time to rejoice and when there is happiness, maybe we'll all go and see a film together and then we'll have grub together and then in the office, of course, constantly, you know, making, pepping people's lives because you can't be serious and uh, work in an environment. You, there has to be fun. There has to be cheer. So, I mean, I don't mind being calling the cheer, you know, call the cheerleader. I just love it. Because there has to be, I mean, how can you have uh, work from, you know, and there is no working, set working hours for ourselves. You know, this industry never sleeps. So how can we sleep? So we'll have to constantly, every Thursday is pressure time. There are lots of movies that are releasing. There's a whole lot of 1,500 plus theatres that has been fed with movies. So it's, it's like a constant. And then there are these clients, not so happy clients and happy clients and some clients who are a little you know, maybe angry at times, everybody has to be dealt to. Do I get angry? I, of course I do get angry, but because, uh, you know, a customer can always choose somebody else, you, uh, that's engraved strongly in our minds. So we, we will make sure that, that uh, the problem has to be solved. After that, whether he decides to come back to you is a separate, but the problem needs to be a, attacked at that pot, a particular time. So I have this huge team, which is full of fun and you know they they they, they like this uh, business of uh, combining fun with work and doing because then it makes the uh, world such a happier place to live in <laughs> i wouldn't say that i mean i i i, I can't call it an asset it's just that uh, it's the same clients the same clients who i work for are the same clients who approach me and as far as possible i don't try and mix i try not to mix them at all because, uh, you know, I mean, the company has given me permission to work on a couple of movies. So there's always this, there, there is this procedure that I follow of taking permission and, you know, uh, telling them how many days I'll be away because it's not corrected. There has to be standby and, you know, there has to be other alternatives to be thought of when I'm not there. And if there's something serious that we are working on, you know, you know how the dates are. Dates are never in your hand. They might say April and the shoot might happen only in December. So how do you deal with that? So as far as possible, I try and uh, act only with people who, who know that they have to shoot and they have to release, you know. But even then, after saying that also, um, you can't be, uh, you know, very, uh, uh, what do I say, stuck up with saying that, no, I will act with so-and-so. So, yeah, I mean, is it, uh, um, for me, uh, I think it's an asset for me to work in this company because I always have this company to come back to which is uh, like my little cocoon that I need to come back to so I might act and maybe three or four days is maximum I can be away then I have to come back